am Jolene. I am from the Best Vinyl Cutters. I absolutely love helping people who are brand new to Cricut, total newbies, total beginners, to get their heads around it without that frustration and overwhelm and wanting to throw the machine against the wall. And this whole entire series is just that. So we are focusing on Cricut Design Space and we are breaking it into teeny tiny little chunks so that this software becomes really truly easy to use. Now what I suggest you get with this series is our super popular book. This book is selling like hotcakes. It is our complete guide to Cricut Design Space and every single tutorial plus more is in this book. So this book has got, this whole entire section is just for desktop users. There is well and truly over 80 tutorials on absolutely anything and everything that you can do in Cricut Design Space. So just as an example, each sheet uh, is a color sheet with beautiful step by steps. We've got the written information and we've got screenshots. Because if you're anything like me, you need both of those. So enjoy this video series, enjoy watching the videos, but then what I recommend you do is when you're busy crafting and you get to that point where you're like, I don't remember what Jolene said, instead of getting lost in the web and trying to find the video, grab your book and just go to that page and just read the instructions. And that way you won't get lost on the web, which is where time goes when we should actually be crafting and instead we get lost searching for all sorts of tutorials. So that's my top tip. I hope you absolutely love and enjoy this series and let me know in the comments below if you would like to see more of these sorts of tutorials. All right, hello, hello. Been a long time, no see ya. No, I'm just kidding. I know we've got loads of these videos and you're probably binge watching them as if it's Netflix. So that's okay. I'm here today to show you how to share links to projects. Now, why would you want to share a link to a project? Well, because many of us that craft have got friends that craft. And when we create something that's beautiful and smashing, our friends often want to create the same thing. So how do you share your projects with them? Well, you can just give them a link. So if they're a Cricut user, you can just give them the link. If they're silhouette users or they use a different type of a brand, we've got another hack for you that's coming later on that you can use instead. So let's very quickly have a look at our book. We're looking at the complete guide to Cricut Design Space, which is our very, very popular book. And we're on page 23. And I'm going to pull up the images that they've used on that page as well. So you have to put in your hashtag and you have to use uppercase if it's uppercase exactly the same. The Cricut Design Space search functions is really sensitive. If you make a spelling mistake or anything, it just won't be able to find what you want. So you've got to be very specific. It's a bit old school. Oopsie. I put an S instead of a 5. Let me change that to a 5. Here we go. Isn't that the coolest rainbow in the world? All right, now on top of that, we're also going to actually put in some text follow your rainbow whoops follow your rainbow cool and what i'm going to do is to i'm not going to change the font actually because i don't want to make this much more complicated than what it is so let me just change the size of this though Come on, I'm doing this the slow way. Let me drag it. All right, now we've got loads of tutorials on working with fonts and um, how to change colors, how to do all of these millions of things. So this is that's not what this tutorial is about. And I'm moving pretty quickly because that's not what this tutorial is about, okay? So if you're looking at me and you're like, oh man, can you slow down? I don't know what the hell you're doing. That's fine. This tutorial is for how do you share a project link. It's not about how to create curved text or changing colors or whatever else, right? So um, we have got video tutorials for that coming very soon. I'm just trying to create the example that they have in the book. And there we go. That's good enough for me. All right, so I've just created this, right? It looks so freaking cute. And if my friends see this on a baby onesie or something, they're gonna be like, ah, I wanna make that as well. So this is how do you share that with them. So first of all, I have to say this. So just give it a name. 
follow your rainbow. I usually tend to write down whatever the words are for some reason, but you can do whatever you want and click on save. Right. Right, so now that it's saved, what we want to do is to click on this words, follow your rainbow, so that we can edit the information that comes up with it. So find this edit product project details up here. It's not very visible. Click on that. And now what we need to do is to actually fill out more information. So it's going to ask you to fill out your name. And if you want to pop in some tags, if you want to give it a description, it has to have a photo. So it's just taken a photo for me automatically of my canvas. And then down here, you can see who can view this project. So right now, anyone with a link can view it, but you can also say everybody in Quicker Design Space can view it. So if you click everybody, that means anybody who's got Quicker Design Space access can find it and view it. Um, but I just find it easier to go anyone with a link and to use that instead. So click on the save. And now you can copy your project link from here. So you can either share it to Facebook if your friend is on Facebook. You can share it to Pinterest if you want to make a pin about it. Or you can just copy on the project link. And it's been copied to me so that now when I go somewhere, let's go here. If I paste this to send this to my friend, it's right there. And when they take that link and they put it into their, um, what do you call this? window for internet i've just gone blank anyway if they put that in there then it will basically just open it up for them straight into their cricut design space so we'll wait for it to load up and there it is so um whoopsie daisies that's as simple as that so this will this is what will pop up for your friend right and then they can choose to make it or customize it so it's really cool and it's really simple and it's just such a nice, easy way to share with people. Um, and, you know, if you create something really, really cool and you're proud of it, it's really nice to be able to share it with somebody, isn't it? Now, the second way of being able to share your project links, let me choose something else here just for the fun of it. Let's choose this Apple one, right? Another way that you can share links is to use this little... Um, sharing icon here this little dotted line thing i don't know if there's a fancy name for it but i don't know what it is if there is so you can always click on that underneath your project so even without going into canvas you can click on that and now i can copy my project link right or if oh this is playing up for me right now let's see if i've got one that i haven't shared before so there we go that one so this one is um, actually just for me because we were doing like a standard group mat in my beginner course that I run. And um, it's like a little cheat sheet label. So I've never shared this one before. And if I click on share, it's going to say to me that in order to share this, I've got to edit the project details. So it's going to take me to the same screen we were on before where you've got to give it a name. You've got to um, select anyone with a link. And you can click on save and then you can grab the link that way. So there's a few different ways in order to grab that link in order to share it. So number one, if you've already created this and um, people are like, oh, can you share the link to me? You can simply come to my project and click on this and grab the link from there. You can also open this and then exactly the same thing will pop up up here and you can grab the link from there. Or as before, we showed you how you can um, do it straight from in here as well. So we can go straight in there and edit project details if we need to, or just grab the link. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you're ready to share away all of your incredibly beautiful creations um, because then we can all use those beautiful creations that you've been making, which is really, really cool. All right, that's it for today. Um, make sure you follow your rainbow, make sure you sparkle and shine, and let's get busy crafting. All right, see you next time. Bye.